hello hi everyone welcome to the another video so this video uh one of uh, i mean this video is uh, i am creating on the basis of one of the command that uh, uh, our viewer asked like to explain uh, in detail about infosys automation testing l2 a technical interview question so let's get started so so as you can see my screen like uh, the first question uh, that was there is regression and sanity difference <laughs> so what is regression what is sanity so basically when you start writing your test cases i mean your manager or your team lead used to say that we need to create a regression test case for this module so suppose you have created 100 test cases of that module as a regression test case now if i need to select those high priority or high traffic test cases that is 15 to 20 percent of this regression suit then i will be picking sanity test case so that is called sanity so what is the importance of sanity it's like suppose i am saying that i need to get the health of the build or i need to get confirmation that my application is working fine within 10 to 15 minute or 20 minute or 30 minute then could you please give me some 20 or uh, 30 or uh, 25 high priority test cases so that is called sanity so sanity itself says that uh, uh, within 15 or 20 minutes i can check like uh, my application is working fine critical functionality is working fine end-to-end -end flows are working fine major functionalities uh, are working fine so on the basis of those high priority test cases i can i mean uh, get a decision or i can i can decide like my application is working fine then I can take this application into regression testing. So when sanity is passed, then we can take this application regression testing. If sanity is failing, then we have to, I mean, discuss with the developer or uh, we have to set our criteria like if 40% uh, of test cases are failing or then we can reject this build and developer has to uh, fix those uh, defect or re, uh, check the test cases or their dev sanity test cases. So, that, so, so what is smoke? <laughs> so the smoke testing so when i say smoke testing so the smoke testing is something uh, suppose i am giving you an application or i have deployed the application i am a developer and i have deployed the application now as a qa when i say smoke testing so in smoke testing we used to check the deployability of that application whether this application is successfully deploy if i am opening the web page is it opening correctly or it is giving me 500 or blank page same goes with the other major functionality like my tabs are opening and if they are opening then we can say the smoke test is passed so basically smoke test is to check the health of the build and sanity is used to check the i mean to get the confirmation that my application is working fine within a small span of time so that's why people used to have to automate the regression test case sometimes they are sanity so if a module has multiple test cases like 400 or 500 regression test cases then obviously your sanity test case might increase like it uh, it is a uh, you can say it is a uh, it is a process like we can we have to or we used to select 15 or 20 percent of uh, the regression test case as sanity exception handling <laughs> so handle the runtime exception or error so that the normal flow of the application can be maintained so how can we achieve it so let's open the ide so i am using this uh, eclipse so the exception handling so whenever uh, we have a doubt that our this code will fail so to keep or if i am worrying that this code might fail then i will be putting this code in try block and if i need to handle this exception i can handle it by using this exception if i am to execute this test so i can execute in this way it will give me the exception if i want to provide some specific exception like obviously this is the arithmetic exception that i'm getting how can i justify that because it is already printing the exception so i think that this is the arithmetic exception so i can use n number of uh, catch block but it depends upon your code what is written in try suppose you are handling a file then your file input output exception or file input exception 
uh, will be in the catch block. So this is how we can implement the try catch block. So next question is how many catch block we can use? We can use multiple catch block with the specific type of exception. In our case, we have handle arithmetic ex exception. Or if I want to use index out of bound, suppose I have written some code that is giving me index out of bound. So it will show something like that. Next is can we use try alone? Obviously not. If I am going to use this try block alone, suppose in this way, then exception is there. Like you have to at least use finally or other blocks. Sequence of catch exception, exception main class or specific exception. So what is that mean? It is so sub uh, so this this code is giving me arithmetic exception. So if I want to put the main class of exception ahead of this use user defined exception or then it will give me some error. So that is called the sequence. So you have to keep your main class after the specific exception that we are catching. So uh, this is the answer of the fifth question. Now move to the next. Can we implement multiple inheritance or multi-level inheritance and why? So uh, as you can see by the diagram that this is multi-level. So I have a class. So I have a class A and this it is and B class is extending A and C class is extending B. This is called multi-level exception uh, inheritance. And this is multiple exception multiple inheritance so how can we code this so i have one class a and one class b and these both the class are extended by c so what will happen if we have common method in both the class like a contains a method and b also contain the method let's take the example in your code so suppose i have a class a that contains a method and I have another class B that's also contain a method. So if I want to extend class A and B, then how can I decide whether I am calling this so method of class B or this so method of A? That's why that's why multiple inheritance is not working in Java. Now come to the multi-level. Multi-level mean to say A, I mean C, A to C. B extended A, C extended B. So let's take this example. I have these three classes. Okay. I have created a method show B extended A, C extended B. So how can we do that? We can create the object of this and obj dot so something like that next is how to verify api successful so whenever we are posting or uh, i mean using post method or get method then obviously uh, i mean uh, when the api is being hit or we i mean uh, uh, use this uh, these method then the success code of uh, the, the api 200 so by I getting the uh, code 200 we can say that our API is successful if we are getting some exception like 400 then we can say that uh, something is uh, wrong with our end and if we are getting 500 series then we can say we are right but there is some problem with the server side how can we say that so suppose I am getting a 405 that is your authentication related exception it means to say whatever username or authentication you are provided or providing in the api that is wrong so that's why servers is not accepting it that's why we are getting 400 series exception that belongs to your client your machine your data now come back to cucumber feature file and keyword so when i say cucumber feature file and keyword so there are multiple uh, uh, keywords are there in cucumber feature file so the keywords are given when then but background scenario and feature and all those things use of background keyword in cucumber feature file so suppose i have two test cases or i have written 
the script of two test cases. So first test case is to log in the Gmail and verify the inbox is visible or not. A second is log into Gmail and verify the sent box of Gmail homepage is visible or not. So in both the cases, we are doing some duplicate of work like we are logging to the Gmail. So the background keyword helps us to keep our common code in background. So what we will do, we will keep the login scenario, login steps in background and we will start our scenario from verify the inbox is visible and second scenario verify the sent box is visible. So this is how we can use background keyword. Now come back to the test ng listeners. So we uh, have multiple listeners. So I have put a uh, few listeners like I test listeners, I report listener, I shoot listener etc. So, so I test listener used to send your data in the reporting part. So if I am using test ng with selenium then in Java then I will be using test ng or I test listener. So it will provide some methods like on start, on test, on test failure, skipped and other on finish. So on every event we we used to write some code with respect to these method and we send back these all things in report. So if I am going to start an or a test case then the test case detail like description or test case method will be sent to the reporting part so we can get those data in our report so that we can identify what all test cases we have executed so far so this is how you can explain in your uh, uh, interview like i have used these types of listener so uh, obviously uh, i mean by looking at the this window you are unable to uh, justify uh, your answer you have to at least try it or implement this listener at your end like how we can uh, try i report how we can try i test listener so if you will not try you will not get the whole idea i mean interviewer uh, might uh, caught you or catch you while explaining all these things now next question is data provider in selenium so data why we use data provider so uh, you guys are using some different types of framework data driven hybrid framework so in those uh, framework you must be using some uh, data and that data might be from the uh, external files like xml file json file or uh, excel file so to read that data and save it save this data in a, a variable that could be your uh, i mean 2d map or 2d array or anything like that so that you can pass the same in your test case so that's why we use data provider so uh, we can use this syntax to uh, write uh, about data provider so i have used at the rate annotation data provider and name of the data provider and this will return something like that if you are going to read it from a uh, excel file or anything so you can write your code i mean below that or you can create a method which used to extract value from the uh, excel and i mean you can do that so once the data is stored in data provider now how we can use it so the same thing that we used to do like at the rate test we used to use the keyword data provider and pass the data provider name whatever name we are using if we are using data provider one then we have to pass data provider one so in this way you can get the value of data provider now execute a test multiple times in cucumber not in test ng as we all know that if i want to execute my test cases in test ng then obviously i will be using invocation count as two or three or four if i want to execute it two two times or four times but but if I want to execute my test case in Cucumber multiple times, then I have to use scenario outline. I mean, this is what I can say, like I can execute my test cases multiple times. So let's take this example scenario outline. I have used some login page. I pass username or password and click on login button. So this is the parameter Gmail. Uh, username and password so we will use scenario outline and with scenario outline we have to use example so in 
example we have to use this variable and in this variable we have to pass the data so what i mean what it will do it will execute your test case testing it will go here and password it will go here and execute once so if you are adding n number of rows then this scenario will execute n number of times so if i am using testing class 1 and testing that password testing class in this way then we can execute our test case so the next is like uh, write away program to remove integer so for removing this part or uh, or uh, from integer uh, character from the this string from the integer you can this string like alphanumeric string So you can use this uh, replace all with uh, regular access and this will replace each and everything special or each and every character from your string. You can pass that. Now the last question is scenario based. If you don't have a document, how will you start testing? So suppose you join an organization and or join or you move from a project B to project A and you don't have any about any idea about the document what's going on how can you start or they are just telling you or saying you to start executing the test cases or start doing testing so how can you start the testing so first of all as you are newbie to that team so you need to discuss the same with your lead if you are the lead you have to discuss the same with your product owner as well as developer to get the idea about that you can i mean you can request them to uh, to 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 keep a kt session so that uh, we can discuss about these all things in detail so if document is not there at least we have to get the idea about the functionality that what is going on on the basis of that you can start creating your test cases like or sample test cases like these are the things that i will be executing other thing is like if a uh, document is not there then obviously your experience what your experience is saying you can execute on the basis of that but first of all we have to discuss with the stakeholders like your product owner or developer regarding the application and functional functionality so that you have the idea about functionality now you can write some test cases though the document is not available but you can write some test cases like this is the flow this is the behavior of the application on the basis of behavior you can sequence the behavior like first of all i will be testing login page then i will be testing home page then what all things could be the part of login page you can ask or discuss with the i mean you have to keep on discussing all those things so that i mean at least you can create the documented uh, thing or some test cases so this is uh, all about it and uh, thank you for watching Happy testing. If you have anything other than that, just uh, keep, uh, I mean, just ping me. I'll be there for you. Thank you.